Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this follow along, we're going to learn uh, a bit more about Azure Disks. So I think it'd be a good idea for us to actually go uh, manually attach one and do a few things with the disk there. Uh, so what I want you to do is make your way all the way over to the top here, and we're going to launch ourselves a new virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and add a virtual machine here. And for this one, I'm going to name uh, the resource group. Uh, if I don't have one, we'll say I'll call it, oop, not fax, we'll call it DAX. And I'll name the machine DAX as well. And down below, we're going to want to launch an Ubuntu server. So make sure you choose the 18 LTS generation two. And then for sizes, let's make sure we have B1LS because that will be cost effective at $5.83 if you forget to turn off that machine. Uh, for the username, we'll do Azure user. And for the password, we'll do capital T testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Capital T testing one, two, three, four, five, six. And we don't need uh, any ports open except for. 22 because we will be SSHing into this machine today. Now we can attach a disk here, but I want to attach one after the fact. Um, and we're going to stick with premium SSD because that seems okay to me. Um, and we'll go ahead and go to review and create and we'll go and create this virtual machine. And we'll give it a second here so we can hit the create button. And I'll see you back here uh, once this is fi uh, finished creating. So I'll see you back here in a bit, okay? So now that our deploy has uh, succeeded here, I'm going to go ahead and go to that resource. And on the left hand side, we'll go to disks and we'll go attach ourselves a new disk. I want uh, just some kind of additional disk here. So my uh, second disk and here I'm going to just use a standard SSD. We don't need a, uh, we don't need premium there. It's not a big deal. And when we're happy with that, we're going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to wait for that disk to create. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and SSH into uh, this here. It uh, looks like it actually is already done. It's updating the virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is make my way back uh, to it. I'm going to go, oops, <laughs> we don't want to discard any changes there, but we'll go and hit, I don't think it will, um, but I'll go make a new tab here just because I don't trust it. And we will go uh, back to DAX, to the virtual machine here. And we will need to go ahead and grab that public IP address and then get into this machine. So I'll go ahead and open up my cloud shell. It might ask you to create storage depending on, um, you know, if it's the first time you've done this before. But now that we're in here, I'm going to type in SSH and we're going to type in Azure user at sign and we will paste in that IP address, the public IP address there. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. We'll say yes. And then capital T testing one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we should get into our machine here. And we are in, so I'll type in clear to clear my screen. Um, and so uh, what we'll want to do is partition that disk. Just because the disk is there doesn't mean we necessarily can use it until it's partitioned. Uh, so what we're going to do is use the parted command. So there's man parted. That's one command we're going to be using today. That's going to be for partitioning. And the other one will be man mount. That will be actually mounting it so we can use it. Um, and if you go into man, you type that, just hit Q to get out. I guess I didn't tell you that. Uh, but in order to partition it, we're going to be typing sudo parted and then the name of the, of the disk we want. So SDC. So if you're wondering what this is, um, so the thing is, is that uh, this is a standard naming convention for the uh, the mount point or the, or the mounting name or whatever we call this thing here. But dev stands for device. And then SD stands for, it used to stand for SCSI, but now it's just, that's what you always put when you're naming it. And then this is followed by a letter. So it could be A, B, C, D. And that is the order of it. And then it will have a number afterwards sometimes. So like one, two, three for partitions, I believe. Uh, so what we'll do is go ahead here and then type in uh, hyphen hyphen script mk label and this is not important for you to remember it's just that we need to go through these motions here because honestly every time i do this i look it up and actually off screen i i have this here so don't think i have this memorized because i definitely don't but what it's going to say is partition uh the, this entire like allocate the entire drive for partitioning uh, and so i'm just going to double check to make sure i spelt this all right so i don't feel embarrassed when if i hit enter and it doesn't work here so just double checking and it looks all pretty good to me uh, and we can't use b because b is reserved uh, something's already using it so we'll go ahead and hit enter and so now that's been uh parted there and we'll have to run a couple more commands here to be able to write to the file system so we'll type in sudo mkfs xfs dev forward slash sdc1 okay and we'll hit enter and so that is all now good and we'll do the same thing i'm hitting up and then we're gonna have to do a part probe on it again not a big deal to know these things uh, off the top of your head but if you're curious i think you could type in man on that as what part, part probe and so it'll tell you what the info inform the os partition the tables have changed so there's that 
and then for the other one, which is um, MKFS, right? Build a Linux file system. So uh, we, we made a partition, we built a Linux file system, and then we informed the OS of the up, uh, change table updates, okay? So once that is done, now we need to uh, mount it. So we're gonna type in sudo make directory, mkdir, we need to make directory, we can type, um, this is a very basic Linux command. It's making a folder basically. And we can name this whatever we want. So uh, since this is dax, I'm gonna go forward slash dax for fun. And then I'm gonna do ampersand ampersand. Now we could use, and I know I typed fax by accident. We could do semicolon, but it's better to use double ampersand because it means that both of these commands need to uh, succeed to proceed. Or sorry, the second command will not proceed unless the first one happens, where if you use a semicolon, it won't do that in Linux, if you didn't know that. So we're gonna type in sudo dev, I'm gonna type in uh, uh, forward slash dev here, sdc1, and then we'll type in dax. And so that should mount it, whoops, so there was a bug there. Um, this is supposed to be sudo. That should mount it uh, to there. And so if we go to our next command here, uh, so we want to use ddf just to do some reading here. So this report a file system disk usage space. This is a great way to see if our, our disk is there. So we'll do hyphen h, grep, and we're going to look for um, sd, right? Because that's what they're all basically named, okay? And so there we can see our drive and we can see how much is actually being used. So that is a, a good way there. And I think if we just type in DAX, we can actually just start writing stuff here. So I can say touch, um, that just means make an empty file. So touch hello.txt, right? Uh, we don't have permission. So if I type maybe sudo and we do PWD and then maybe LS. So I've just written to that uh, disk there. Now, just because we've um, created a mount disk, if we restarted the machine, doesn't mean it would mount again. So uh, there's a little bit of work we need to do that. So what we can do is use, um, I think we have to add something to et cetera's F stab. Uh, and so we're gonna have to get a bit of information about the disk, like such as the UUID. So what I want you to do is type in sudo hyphen I, okay. And we'll type in, uh, and that I stands for interactive, by the way. If we type in ML, again, I, I keep on showing you man if you ever want to find out what these things are. But if you type this, this is locate print block device attributes. And you can read this if you want to see more information. I'm hitting up and down. I want to, I want to leave this, I hit Q. But what we can do is enter interactive mode for, via sudo. That's what the I stands for, B-L-K-I-D. Uh, and so we're looking for the output of uh, our SDC1, okay? So... For SDC1, it's down here. So what I'm gonna do is copy the whole line. We probably don't need the whole thing. I'm gonna copy it. And I have um, off-screen uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'm just pasting that in there. So you just have to paste it uh, somewhere in a text editor. So we do not lose that. And what we'll do is proceed to update the fstab file. I'm gonna type in sudo, uh, etc. fstab here. And I haven't had one of these in a long time, so hopefully I get this right. Oh, sorry, so we want a Vi in between there. You can use Nano. I really don't like Nano. I prefer Vi, uh, but if with Vi you have to, or Vim, you have to be very careful. So uh, with Vim, the idea is HJKL or map to your movements, but if we just hit I, then the keyboard works normal, okay? And see, it says inter insert down below. And so notice that we have um, these other value. Whoops, I gotta be really careful here. Um, but notice, I, was, I wasn't using the arrows, but notice we have uh, some other things here. So what we want to do is go ahead and add our own here. Uh, so we'll hit, oops, I want to go below here, hit enter. And so we want the UUID of the one we have. So I'm going to do UUID equals. And what I'm going to do, hold on just a moment. Uh, file new. <laughs> I just want to show you the actual uh, thing I copied out here. Okay, just a moment. So here's mine, right? So I'm just gonna have to copy uh, that on over. So I'm just gonna maybe park it halfway on the screen here so we can see what we're doing. And so I need uh, this value here. I'm just looking at what's already there, right? To match it. And we'll go copy. And I should be able to do paste here. And then just double check to make sure nothing's cut off. So for four good zero zero so that looks good to me um so there's that and then we need to put the i think the mount point so yeah because it says 
yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So we'll type in forward slash, we called ours DAX, and then we're gonna put XFS, oops, XFS. Um, and then we need a space and we're gonna type defaults, comma, no fail, one and two. All right, and so now that we have that all set up, uh, I think we're all good to go. So I'm just gonna go and save this. So see how it says insert, I'm gonna hit escape key. That brings me back into normal mode. And then I'm gonna type, the, I'm gonna type a colon. Notice it comes down here into the command. I'm gonna type W and Q and quit. All right. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. So now our driver is mounted and we can uh, write to it uh, however we like. And so, uh, you know, that's good here. So what we'll do is just go ahead and uh, close Cloud Shell. And maybe what we'll do is, I don't know, maybe like back up uh, this disk here. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and actually do a backup. So on the left-hand side, we'll go to disks. Um, and if you're just confused where we are, what we can do is even go to disks, I think, ourselves, and we'll see our disks. And I can go to my uh, second one here. And then from in here, I can go ahead and create myself a snapshot. So we'll go ahead and hit a snapshot. Um, and we'll just say my disk backup. And we have two options here. We can create a... Um, a full, a read-only copy of the selected disk, or we can do incremental, which will save us uh, space. Uh, I don't think we need to do incremental today. We can do a full disk for fun, and we'll hit review. Oh, we missed some inf basic information here. Uh, storage type, we will put it into standard HHD, uh, and we'll go ahead and go back and hit review, and go create. And that's going into our, our DAX there, and so we'll just wait till that's done. Great, so now that we uh, learned how to uh, create a snapshot, uh, how about we go ahead and actually attach a disk to a Windows machine because the process is slightly different. It doesn't hurt to go through the process twice here so you can experience uh, the differences. So we'll go ahead and create a new virtual machine here, put it in our DAX, we'll call this DAX Windows, and uh, we'll choose a different image here and probably a Windows server was probably ideal. So we'll go drop this down. Uh, I think I will go with the 2019 gen generation two. Uh, B1LS is not sufficient, I believe. Oh, I can't remember. I think that we need a B2S because two and four, I think that will be enough. If it doesn't like it, it will tell us. Um, and so we need to create an administrator user. So I'm gonna type in Azure uh, user. And then for the password, capital T, testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Capital T, testing one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we want to allow RDP there. We'll go next to disks. We're not going to attach one uh, right off the bat. We're going to stick with premium and we'll hit review and create. And so we'll go ahead and create this Windows machine. And I know it's a bit more expensive than the Linux machine, but do not worry. We will not keep it around for too long. And we'll just wait here for just a moment to make sure that it's in progress. And I'll see you back here in a moment. All right, so now that our Windows server has been created, let's go to that resource, make our way over to disks, and we're gonna be doing the same uh, story here. Um, so I think we can kind of attach whatever, uh, any kind of drive we want here. I don't think it matters. So I'm gonna say my Windows disk, and uh, yeah, I'll have a premium this time. Who cares, why not? <laughs> and so we'll just wait for that to uh, create, and then it shouldn't take too long. It's gonna update the virtual machine. And then what we'll wanna do is RDP into this instance. So on the left-hand side, uh, I never trust it if I cancel that. I feel like it's gonna mess up uh, my, my settings there, but I don't think so. We'll go to data uh, DAX windows and on the left-hand left side, go to connect and we will do RDP, download the file. If you uh, don't have the client, you'll have to install it for Mac. On Windows, it generally is, I think, pre-installed unless you need Windows Professional, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll type in Azure user, capital T, testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oops, I actually don't know if I typed that right. Let's reveal that if we can. <laughs> it's not showing me the icon now, so I'll have to type it all over again. Capital T, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll hit okay, and we'll say yes. And so we'll just wait a moment here for this to start up and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, so now that uh, our Windows machine re is ready here, what we'll do is make our way over to PowerShell. So just type in PowerShell uh, and we'll go here. I don't know if it matters if it's x68. Let's just go to the first one here. Uh, I don't use PowerShell too much, but I can uh, make our way through it here, no problem. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and partition it. Uh, and luckily I have the command off screen here. So you'll just have to follow along with me uh, as soon as this ever decides to load, unless I can start typing, there we go. Okay, just give it a moment. 
There we go. And so we'll type in get hyphen disk. I made the poor choice of hitting tab. <laughs> Don't hit tab when you're uh, in RDP. It just makes your life a lot harder. See, because then it auto completes today. So I was trying to autocomplete it to say disk so I don't make any spelling mistakes. And then we'll put we'll make a pipe and we'll say partition style. And then we'll say if it equals, again, you don't have to have this memorized. It's just important that you go through the motions here with me. So you can say, yeah, I did this one time. And then we want initialize disk. I'm so tempted to hit um, hyphen to autocomplete, but I just do not trust it here. So I'm gonna type it all each individually by hand. Then we need, um, we have partition, uh, partition style, so MBR, and we're gonna say pass through. Okay, and then we'll put pipe again. And then we'll say new partition. I was hoping that it would wrap there. Okay, and we'll say assign drive letter, because we want it to have a letter, right? And uh, then we'll say use maximum size, pipe, format, um, volume, and we'll say file system. We probably could have done this in multiple commands, but I'm just making it easy and just following what we got here that I know works because I ran it earlier. And then we'll name it whatever we want. So, uh, you know, my new disk. And then we'll put in hyphen confirm, false. Okay, so there's a lot there and I already see a mistake. I think that's a mistake for initialized disk because it should be like that. There we go. At least it colors it so we know. And so I think that looks all okay. I'm gonna go hit, hit, hit enter and we will just wait here a little bit. Uh, cannot be found that matches the file system label. There's clearly a spelling mistake. So we'll go here, label. I'll probably give you the code so you can just copy and paste it. And uh, we're still having a bit of problems here. So I think what I'll do, I'm gonna see if I can just copy and paste it in here. Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I re recommend you do as well. And so we'll verify if that disk is actually uh, ready there. Um, so I think we can write, if we type in .vm storage profile .data disks. Hit enter, we didn't get any output. So we should have got output there uh, and we didn't. So just give me a moment here, okay? All right, so I'm not sure why VM's not working. Normally, uh, if you type in even dollar sign VM, it would give you an output, but there's another way that we could check. There's another way we could check if the drive's there. We just go up to the folder here. I just, it was a, a smart idea I had here. And under the PC, it should just show up, right? So here we have a disk. Uh, I guess the disk is still not formatted. So I, I guess we'll just format it this way. Like this is just another way to format it, right? So we'll go here, we'll say quick format, okay. Great. And, um, oops, yep, there we go. So that's all done. You know, but you know, sometimes I just find it easier to just use this stuff, we could have also done it through, if we went to disk here, right? We could have done it through here. We could have we could have also partitioned it this way, but I mean, this worked uh, just, just as easily, but you know, sometimes it's helpful to uh, practice some PowerShell there. Um, so yeah, I think we're pretty much done here because uh, now we formatted both. Um, but yeah, let me just decide here if I want to uh, try in doing a backup. You know what, I decided uh, maybe the backup should be a separate uh, follow along here. So we're all done here. So we'll go ahead and close that RDP and then make your way over to your resource groups here. And uh, what we'll do is make sure, or actually it's easier if we just go to, I went to all resources, but we'll go here uh, and just go ahead and delete whatever you need to delete. So if we go to DAX and we say delete resource group, they'll delete all that stuff. Uh, and I think that's good enough for uh, disks. So there we go.